Hi everyone and welcome to the Chef's Kitchen where Ingalls caters some of the best events anywhere. I'm Josh Michael here with Chef Kale and today we're showing you how to make some amazing food right there in your own home. Chef Kale, what are we making today? Today we're going to do a roasted butternut squash and apple bisque. Okay, all right, how do we get started? All right, so some olive oil. Excellent. Simple mirepoix. Okay, all so right. So onions. That's onions. Yep. Celery. Yes. And carrots. All right. All right. So anytime you're starting soups, uh, stocks, or sauces, I like to go ahead and season it right away with the oil. Salt and pepper are oil soluble, and especially with the salt or with the pepper, it'll roast it off a little bit. And you get more of the oils and more of an aroma. Okay. All right. Good to know. All right. So as this is working, what you're going to do is take a whole butternut squash and you're going to cut it in half and put it on a sheet pan. Okay. Salt and pepper, olive oil, throw it in a 350 oven. And it really depends on the size of the butternut squash, how okay. long it's going to take to get soft. All right. So after it comes out, it's going to look like a shriveled mess, kind of <laughs> like that. All right. And you don't want any of the icky fleshy part. Okay. So you scoop all that out. Okay. Right. So you're going to just take your spoon, scoop it out. Okay. And it's going to feel gross. I'm going to tell you that right now. And it's going to look like but, baby food. But it's going to taste amazing. It's going to be worth it. Right. OK, yeah. so then after all of that is scooped out, we're going to use some apple cider. Now, okay. you can't use apple juice. You have to use you apple cider. You have to have the spices. Right. Perfect. We've got Hendersonville right down the road. It's all good. Right. So adding that. And then go ahead and grab the heavy cream. OK. And all you right. add about a pint of heavy cream. That's all you need. All right. And if you want it, um, a little more thick, you can add more. It's up to you. Okay. Color outside the lines. So we're going to let that reduce for about an hour. Okay. And after it reduces, you're going to buzz it up with either an immersion blender or a regular blender. Okay. Is there a consistency that you're really looking for on that? Yes. So the cooking term is called nappe. Nappe. Okay. And what you do is you take the spoon and this isn't going to be sticking on too much, but you run your finger. And see how it's not running down like a waterfall? Yep. That's nap A. What and you know the trip. consistency is there. That's excellent. That's excellent. So and to finish the soup, you add just a little bit of butter, okay. which I already have done to this one. Okay. Right. And some fresh oregano. Excellent. And just, uh, this is a great like first dish. First, uh, first dish for Thanksgiving. Excellent. Um, that looks so good, Chef Gail. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us here at the Chef's Kitchen. For more great recipes and to learn about having Chef's Kitchen cater your next event, visit thechefskitchen.com. See you next time.